Moo! Welcome everybody to Mario Kart 8. I'm Cow's Crazy, and today I'm going to be taking on Gavin. He is the Zoro Arc Wizard. I think that's how you say that. Zoro. Z. Zoro. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one episode of Zoro ever in my entire life. But if you don't know who Zoro is, he's a Mexican superhero with a well, I don't know if he's a superhero, but he's a he's like Batman, I guess. He's a vigilante. <laughs> I don't know. What, as Zero, he might know. And not because he's Mexican. Well, okay. That's a lie. Only because he's Mexican. X-099-1. Anyways, let's get this game underway. 150cc items are frantic. We shall start the race. Who is going to win? Um, if you're betting... I'd put money on cows crazy to come second place bet bet cows crazy for the silver that is place if you're a horse racing uh person there that is place there is win place and show don't ask me how i know that I'm... but i have placed a couple low dollar value wagers on horse racing before not very often, but every once in a while, you know, been able to put my money on the ponies. Three, two, one, go! Here we go. And he is in the Star Fox Me uniform, which makes total sense because he is the king of furries. Like, I, I. I don't think there's a furrier furry than than Gavin. He's probably like in his furry suit right now playing the game. He's he's a furry. And he's very furry. So yes. He's definitely a fox too. <laughs> he loves the fox. What does the fox say? Oh that's probably old, right? Yeah, okay, I gotta get back in touch touch with reality. What's the fox say? <laughs> uh, that wasn't even fun at the time, was it? No, probably wasn't. But he enjoys the the art of being an animal. I don't know why it's normally foxes either, but then again, like I've seen bears. I think I've seen bears, right? And I think I've seen rabbits too in the furry culture. Not that I fully understand it, of course. I don't... I don't even know why I'm talking about it right now. Oh no! That one got me good, there. It got me right in the middle of the spinning. Like, once you take out one, like, you still got some blockers up, but obviously there's that gap in the back, right? Where you can easily be caught. We do have a nice lead here as we head into the final lap. Final lap! No, this isn't. F0. F0, 90, 90, 90, 91. <laughs> He's coming around that corner. He's probably going to get some more good items, so I better keep my lead here. Actually, I think he's gaining on me quick, isn't he? Maybe that's just the map, but it does look like he's closing that gap. Let's send those back. Maybe it'll hit him. We can get a new protection maybe here. Oh, we do. It's like I knew. It's like I knew which item was coming. And I replaced my protection, and I will take a one. Nothing. Lead! Which is rare for me. Actually, one nothing lead's not rare. Two nothing lead is rare. That I never do. <laughs> I might win the first one, but like, how often do I ever win the first two and just seal things up right away? That almost never happens. But where shall we go now? Where shall we go now? <whistles> Who can it be now? <whistles> um. How about Yoshi Circuit? I don't know why. Just something's calling to me about it right now. 
And he's going to go with that aforementioned F0. And loser's advantage. I'm telling you. I should really do the math on this whole thing. I know it hasn't uh, been... I don't. Th it hasn't been 100%. That's for sure. Because there's been times when one player has gotten all the courses. Regardless of winning or losing. But... I think the loser's advantage in one-on-one -on -one would come out to over 70%, maybe. At least that's the way it feels. I don't know. Or maybe I just notice it because that's my theory, right? Oh, he's got one of those sound bites. Gonna watch out. Got the sound bite. Gonna have a... Whoa! He, did he go off the edge? He might have went off the edge. I think he just got replaced there on the map, right? The edge might have been. Alright, here we go. Into the water. If you're on the water, you get a little more speed. Whoa! Oh, there he was. He's got those mushrooms. Watch the mushrooms! Alright, did he go off the edge again? He might have. Oh, no, there he is! And we just crashed! We bumped into each other! We have... went into a... side collision... Oh, no! The final lap, he says! We have crashed, and then he took me out, and now... I am in a race for my life. There he is, I see him. And I have the lead now, as my Super 8 has taken him down. Can I win? Oh, no, whoa, what the hell just happened there? I don't know. That was a weird flying thing right there. That was a little crazy. As we round the corner. And victory is mine! That was a close one. That was a good battle all the way through, right to the end. As the furry helmet man comes in. It does have the F-Zero car too, I like that. Mad respect for that. It's a good car. I like the way it looks. I don't know how it handles though. I never liked the blue, the Falcon car in the actual F-Zero games. I always feel like it handles... oddly. Um... How about we go to... Hyrule. He's gonna pick the Warriors. I like how we look up at it. Any loser's advantage? I'm telling you. There's gotta be something to this. <laughs> but I have a 2 nothing lead here. He needs this one to stay in it. Otherwise, I have clinched my victory, which is a rare thing around here. Very rare. We got the gold mine here. How much gold is in them hills? There's gold. Whoa! There's gold in them dar hills, right? There is. <laughs> I like to. I was thinking about the Bugs Bunny episode where, like, he does all the shaking and gyrating every time he gets near gold. <laughs> And then Sam is following him around and trying to get him to find the gold. <laughs> That's a good episode. It's good. It's good. It ends up at Fort. Ah, they end up at Fort Knox. <laughs> and he starts going, shaking it. Sam digs it up, but he's like, "I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm wealthy." Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so good. The best is Daffy Duck, though, in another one where. The Abominable Snow Monster episode, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he finds all the loot, and he's like, he's jumping up and down, he's like, I'm rich, I'm rich. <laughs> and then the best line is, I'm comfortably well off. <laughs> like, who says that? Who says I'm comfortably well off? Ah. Oh. Well, that's what you'd be if you found this gold mine. You'd be 
comfortably well off. Speaking of comfortable, I have a comfortable lead here against the Gavin. As we round the corner here, and we enter the final lap of the Wario Gold Mine. He's... It's a, it's a gap, but it, I don't think it's that big of a gap, to be honest with you. So get my condom on. Triple the shells. Triple protect... Oh, the bats knocked me off course! I didn't realize they could do that. I, I knew they were there to obstruct you, but I didn't know they could actually like push you off to the side. That's a lot of force right there from those keys. Oh, I think he went off the edge. Because he's come to a grinding halt back there. Oh, no, 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 no. That was bad. So did I, though. I have also gone off the edge. So that equals us out. But, I think this one is mine. Victory! As I take a three to nothing lead. And I have secured my victory early on here. Which is a rare thing. You know what? I don't think I've swept anybody. So, I'm going to go for gold here. I'm going to go for gold. And if you took my advice at the beginning and bet on me to place, then the house has won and it's taken your money. Where do I want to go, though? Where do I want to go? What do I want to play? I don't know. It's so hard to decide what I want to play. How about DK Jungle? I don't know why. He's going to go with the high rule, though. Who's going to rule high? Loser's advantage? I'm telling you. There's something. There's got to be something to it. There's got to be something to it. Taking into account only when somebody's actually losing, though. Like... At the the first one in the series, and or being tied at any point, you know, and of course this only works um, in one on one races. My theory, I don't know how that would work out in a larger group. Hoping to have one in the not so distant future, but we'll just have to see about that. Whoa, he's sending them backwards at me. And he Crashed right into me. All right. Oh, I just missed him there. And we're gonna get through the sword. Yes, through the sword. I love it when we go through the sword. But you won't love it when the sword goes through you. <laughs> Unless we're talking about another kind of sword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean my penis. What? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, around the corner. Here we go. Up and down. Get the around the tree. Ooh, we got a red shell. A guarding. Oh no! Oh, I should have used it to. I should have used it to protect myself. But if the first one didn't get me, the second one would have. So I sent my own red shell out, and I knock him down, and we're basically back to even again. We're basically back to even again. Might as well. Oh, we get the sword again! Yes, the sword! The sword! Live by the sword, die by the sword. Whoa! Banana, banana, I seen the banana, but there wasn't room! There wasn't room! Where's the banana passing lane? There should be a lane designated for passing bananas. There was no designated passing banane. <laughs> what did I just say there? I have no idea. Passing banane. <laughs> I was trying to say lane, now you said banana and lane at the same time. You <laughs> came out banane. Oh, yes, three times through the sword. He might have this one, though. Barring a... Oh, oh, I... Oh, he got the... the oh, no, hold on, what happened to him, though? I don't know what happened to him. Oh, there's a battle right to the end. But I've got it. That was a really close one. <laughs> I think that's my first sweep.
as my first sweep of the year. I'm very, very sorry, Gavin, that you had to be at the other end of this sweep. But, you know, it's probably hard to see out of that furry suit, right? <sighs> no, I'm sure it has eyes in it, right? Yeah, gotta be able to see. But look at that! A golden wheel! It doesn't happen too often. Victory is for the cow! And until next time, everybody, I've been Cow's Crazy. Him running over top of the world has been Gavin. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, moo!